What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, we have another Game of Thrones a card game second edition tournament video for you, brought to you by these awesome people who donate to the channel and help support the work I do here at patreon.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. In this one, we have Alex playing Tyrell HRD Bitterbridge against Kevin playing Greyjoy Reigns. And yes, this is Alex, as you can tell by the mat of the Insight and Renown podcast. If you guys don't listen to that, you should go check it out. I believe everything from episode two and beyond is still available to listen to. Uh, it goes back in the history of the CCG and LCG and kind of looks at what is going on now. It takes different uh, topics every time they make an episode. And uh, Chris Schoenthal, another uh, supporter of the channel, has also been on that podcast a couple times. Uh, pretty good listen, and uh, you should check it out. We'll try not to get confused by the Danny for Insight and Eddard for Renown on the playmat. Uh, as being characters in play, but I guess you wouldn't see those in a Tyrell HRD deck, so they shouldn't be too bad. And on the other side, we have the Greyjoy Reigns player, Kevin. Set up a Maester Windermere, a Reader, and an Iron Islands Fishmonger. And it looks like we had Bitterbridge, of course, out there for HRD, and then I guess setup was the Arbor. And uh, none other than Mace Tyrell put into play using Bitterbridge. And then we have seven costs. King Balon on the other side jumping in too. After Summer Plot uh, is revealed, I believe that's how it works. And both are Summer Plots. So we got Time of Plenty on the Tyrell side. And then on the other side we have Summer Harvest. And four bucks for a high tower on the Tyrell side. Tyrell player obviously going first. So some more econ on the Tyrell side. I'll pay two for a high guard and courtier. Uh, trigger the high tower. So High Garden Courtier coming into play, triggering High Tower, getting a gold and a card. Once per phase as a Tyrell character enters play, I believe how it works. And Flea Bottom to help that little combo keep on rolling. And Mace is going to get the High Garden Court here to leave play. And marshalling on the Greyjoy side now. And a milk of the poppy on Mace. But uh, that character's still going to be able to come back into play, I believe, at the start of the next phase and trigger High Tower to get another gold in a card and that's an iron fleet scout put in there in the bottom row for the Greyjoy side we got a dupe on Balon now and Balon's appointed so he's got all three icons so this is the showdown the top table winner of this wins the tournament And make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. We have some store champ coverage coming up on the channel from some Game of Thrones tournaments. And we're also playing through a Gloomhaven campaign right now. If you want to check that out, you can see that all in playlists on Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube. And make sure you're hitting that like button on the content that you do like to let me know and to let others uh, find the videos when searching around on YouTube. Definitely helps us out here. So that High Gordon Courtier is back in play. And a card drawn and a gold gained off High Tower. We also have a. Um, what is the name of the crew there? I'm blanking, but he's got two bestow on him on the Greyjoy side. Silence's crew. 
Eh, that's what it is. So entry challenge with Mace to start. Five strength. going to block uses Balon's ability to kneel a location. Either way, he gives a buff to Balon there, using Iron Fleet Scout or using Balon's ability. Either one. And he wins it on the defense. And no defenders on a power challenge. Just waiting for you to take it back immediately. <laughs> Is that a thing I do? That's the thing you oh, I mean, take the power, power back. I think I'm going to take, take the fact that I said no, no, no defenders back. Sorry, I should, I should stop being clever. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> or pretending I'm being clever. I'll wait till do the power challenge very last. Just uh, show you how to move on. Okay, you all good? Yeah, you should, you should go. Uh, I will... So, intrigue with the reader. And that's unopposed. The card draw effect off the reader is triggered there. And claim, can't tell who that is. And now military with silence's crew, eight strength. So it sounds like uh, Alex, the Tyrell player, is debating on Flea Bottom now that he has a target in there from the Intrigue claim. So he could bring that in for Military claim if you wanted, but he's going to kill the High Garden Court here. And Pillage is another copy of Flea Bottom. And since it was a location, Silence's crew gets an extra gold on him. And a power challenge with the little Greyjoy weenie there, the Iron Islands Fishmonger. And that Tyrell character bought, brought into play. So no trigger on High Garden, but he's going to block the power challenge. And dominance to the Greyjoy player. Putting him at, I believe, four power now. So time of plenty on the Tyrell side into counting coppers. <laughs> cool art. So a large Marge dropped into play and Victorion off of uh, Bitterbridge encampment there.
It's always fun as a Greyjoy player when your opponent's using a bit of bridge and you're dropping in Victorians and King Balons. For free, helps speed things up a little bit. Now you just got to get the saves to keep them in play. But this uh, Tyrell deck, not sure if it's playing Valor actually. Maybe a different reset. Well, we'll see. And Lord Support, Shipwright. And no trigger on the Lord's Portship right yet. You may see him kneel down the flea bottom. And we have Standy Randy triggering High Garden, getting a gold, drawing a card. The location is crazy. And a dupe on Randall. And Renly's Pavilion to work with Sandy Randy. And that's what he was waiting for. That's what I would be doing too. Kneeling that down. ASAP. I mean, flea bottom targets are one thing, but Sandy Randy, you don't want him, uh, him going crazy. And ladies and gentlemen, hashtag dupe the arbor. So I think we're over to challenges now for the Greyjoy player. Probably debating using uh, Victorion somehow with a, another character, maybe doing a big attack, power military, uh, to get some Intimidate off. And he's going to do with Balon. And it's a military, so Balon does not kneel to attack since there is no king across the board right now. So no defenders declared here, so he'll be able to intimidate whoever he wants. And we get the reader going off, drawing a card here. So Mace Tyrell dies, Milk the Bobby falls off, Marjorie's getting a trigger here to search for a lord and drop him in play. We're a king, I guess. Are we going to see a Renly Baratheon? Are we going to see the Knight of Flowers? It's Renly. And that triggers the High Tower. Another golden card, just like that. That uh, is craziness. And Renly gets the Intimidate.
Yeah, four strength, strength intrigue with the reader. Of course, he has that uh, Iron Fleece Scout to do some buffing if he wants. I think you can use Balon's ability also to buff a unique. And he's going to ambush in Old Town Informant, I think it's called. The uh, bestow one that lets you cycle cards. Is he going to use it for some defense? Or maybe just want to get it out of his hand so he didn't lose it? And balance text only pumps loyal characters. Yeah. And he is loyal, so he is. So if he doesn't oppose, we could have a range trigger go off here. Flea bottom. You can trigger it on the Tyrell side. And Elena's informant coming in play. So we can name an extra challenge type he wants to do. He's going to name power. That makes sense. So we'll get to do an extra power challenge when it gets around to his turn. So he's going to defend for four using those two weenie characters on the end there. Try to prevent the range trigger. And he does win, 4-4. Four to four. And Intrigue claim a Lord Renly's Rye. That's a juicy pull. Mr. Windermere is going to stealth Randall Tarly on a power challenge. Marjorie Tyrell is going to block to gain renown. And over to Alex, the Tyrell player, for his challenges now. And Randall Tarley coming in on the power challenge. Silence's crew is going to block for 10. But we do have a Lord Renly's ride. Buffing for five, standing Randall. So we did have a second one. So 10 to 10 right now. But he can buff the Silence's crew. Then he's going to have to eat a military challenge. But I think he would have to eat it anyway because I don't think he can get Balon up enough strength. So might as well stuff the power. And it is one on defense, so Silence's crew is going to get a pillage off. And Mace to the discard pile. 
and a 10 strength power challenge with Randall. Forgot that he could do a second power, and then uh, he has Balon blocking him. And of course, everyone's knelt out, so no, no intimidate targets here. And a push on dominance. And we have trade routes into pulling the strings. Uh, so we're tied and I have less. Yeah. 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 So I will choose... So Tyrell player chooses, or he wins initiative, chooses who goes first here. And the Tyrell player is going to go first. Um, my when revealed will get your and he's going to hit the counting coppers with pulling the strings. It makes sense. Load up his hand. He's got the economy to play out pretty much whatever. <laughs> And he's debating on the bitter bridge here since the summer plot was revealed with the trade routes on the other side. I think trade routes netting eight gold here. And no trigger on Bitterbridge. And House Florent Knight coming in there. Shipwright gets popped out of play. High tower gets triggered, getting a golden card. High tower getting some protection there and a duplicate. Of course, it's a smart thing to do against Greyjoy. Red One Straits gets a uh, duplicate also. There is reasons why not. Well, there, yes, but I'd like to secure my stuff if I'm going to we do not sell. Um, so we still have six. So without a dupe right now, Marjorie Tyrell, uh, the Tyrell side of the board is kind of vulnerable. I mean, only one Iron Mines on the other side, but there is a dupe on Balon, and he may have saves in hand, but uh, Victorion only has one power on him. So if you can get up to two power on Victorion, I may see a Valor come up soon. Try to get rid of Marjorie Renly. So 
what it looks like. Over to the Greyjoys for marshalling now. I think that's Horn Hill that was marshaled out on the Tyrell side where you put some gold on it and basically buff strength. Kind of opposite of Astapor, I believe. And we have a seven cost Asha Greyjoy coming into play now on the Greyjoy side of things. Have a, yeah, but I'm a corset, we have a milk of the poppy the corset, the world championship yeah, put on to uh, Marjorie Tyrell there. Second Iron Mine, so definitely setting up a nice Valor, I would assume. And we have a Lord's Port Shipwright taking down Flea Bottom, and Alex is not impressed. <laughs> player for his challenges. Could see uh, two or three uses of Randall Tarley here. Since there is a, a, a Renly's Pavilion and Horn Hill out. Do see one gold saved on the Greyjoy side, so nightmares could be a thing. And catch Randall while he's down. So intrigue to strength. So we could possibly see the Greyjoy player try to trigger reins on the defense, but then again the Tyrell player could do some strength buffs, uh, as we just talked about. Instead of on Randall, could do it on that little Old Town uh, Informer. Kevin does have Asha, Balon, and the Reader, all with Intrigue icons that could participate. He could just let it go through if he doesn't care about what's in his hand. Try to trigger reins on the offense. 
going second. If he could get a juicy range trigger off on his turn, he could uh, flip into like Red Wedding and start sniping lords and ladies instead of, or yeah, instead of claim basically. And with Osh having stealth, that's definitely possible. And it looks like Kevin is debating on the defense here. Interesting. And he's just pushing them forward. He is going to kneel them as a defense. So defending for 10. Currently 10. Yes, currently. What do I not want to see him play out of his reins? So they're just debating it out here whether Tyrell uses his strength buffs. I will allow it. Then the Greyjoy player could use his strength buffs. And it looks like neither are going to use any. And we may have a range trigger here. Yeah, it looks like that's what's going to happen. Could see just filthy accusations to do some kneel. Could see pulling the strings copied. And it's actually going to be Game of Thrones. So now Alex is caught here. Can't initiate a power or a military since he didn't win an entry. And pillage off Asha. And Asha's ability here, looking through the top six cards, they both get Renown. But that does leave uh, a lot of the Tyrell cards standing and ready for defense. in the order of an infinite number of cards potentially is uh, a little strong with your already awesome ability. So obviously that's the for my challenges over to you. And now over to the Greyjoy player for his challenges. So we're going to have some counting to do here with the Tyrell strength buffs, the Greyjoy strength buffs. Who's on the board? Intimidate possibilities. How many guys can defend in each type of challenge? Well, that's stealth on Windermere is definitely helpful if you want to pair that with uh, Victory on Greyjoy's Intimidate. What a nuisance. That's what I'm here for. So yeah, Alex is telling me to shout out his first episode while I'm doing the commentary, but he doesn't even have it uploaded anymore because he did have to clear it out to make space for future episodes. Uh, but he may have corrected that since, so definitely go check out the Insight and Renown podcast.
a big challenge coming in here. Power challenge. So we got Silence's crew. We have uh, Victorion, the Reader, and Windermere. Sounds like 21 strength at this point. Sorry, Fleet Scout. You get the bigger one for attacking or for being first player? For the first player. Okay. So 22 with that. It's only 23, 24 with Balan, basically. Are you counting both? It's once per challenge. Oh, it's once per challenge. Okay, so 23 with Balan. And I can only defend with two guys. I can get to 11. Plus 6 from that is 17. And two more swings from that would effectively be 19. So you have correctly done your math and figured out you can win this challenge. I actually did screw it up. Because I thought you were one I thought you were one more. Ah, okay. Well, you were close enough as makes no difference. Sure. So it sounds like uh, the Tyrell player is not a lot, not able to get enough power to defend here. And using effects, so he's just gonna block uh, the unopposed with Marjorie Tyrell. So we have power claim here. Pillage, the third copy of Mace. And we should have Intimidate. And no Intimidate, I guess. But Dominance either way to the Tyrell player. Wardens of the Reach in a training with Matoshi. So Wardens, I believe, is the one uh, every time a Tyrell character enters a challenge on attack or defense, they get like a plus two strength buff, which is ridiculous. And it makes sense to build up to that plot. He's got a bunch of big dudes on the board. Might as well throw that there. Trading going to fuel some economy on the Tyrell player side of the board, which doesn't really need much more economy. I am very surprised that Valor hasn't gone off yet from the Greyjoy player. But he is going first here, marshalling in Triss Botley. Oh, sorry, Bitterbridge is bringing in Triss Botley. And that, uh, the big knights, uh, the big army, sorry, in Tyrell on the other side. So it's uh, King Renly's host, Intimidate, no attachments. While there is a summer plot card reveal, they get plus four strength. While there's a winter plot card reveal, they can't be declared as an attacker. And there is a summer, so they do get a plus, plus four strength buff. Oh my god. This board is getting out of control here. Battle of the big dudes. The same combo you nerfed last turn is still in there. Nerf. Is that what we're calling it? Yeah. <laughs> Begging brother? Begging brother Marshall on the Greyjoy side. He's going to bestow him for three. Just character ability, right? Not any trigger ability? 
That'll stop uh, Randall Tarley from uh, triggering there. Could even stop Renly. So Tyrell player only at four power right now. Feels like it should be more, but it's not. And on the Greyjoy side, I think blending into Balon there is three power. And then another, I think, four on the house guard. And I think uh, Victorion has a couple of power. Uh, either way, the Greyjoy player Kevin is six away from winning. So that's putting him at nine. Uh oh, he's clearing it out for the second row here. We're on to a second row of characters now on the Tyrell side. We already had a second row basically on the Greyjoy side for a while here. I do appreciate both players for keeping their characters on the mats, all their cards on the mats, so we can follow along. And Brienne of Tarth. With King Renly on the board, she's going to be able to not kneel when declared as a defender. And we have five cost Queen of Thorns. And now for the Great Joy player Kevin to do his challenges. Trying to math out all the buffs. And uh, we're going to just fast forward through the about eight minutes there that Kevin decided uh, before making a challenge here after trying to calculate the plot strength uh, buffs from the Tyrell side, all the abilities built in, the the buffs from the locations, possible events in hand, all the different strength tools for all the different icon types. And it looks like he's doing a military challenge here with Silence's crew, Victorion, and Balon, but it looks like he does, I believe, forget that there is a king across the board and uh, then has to kneel out Balon. And I believe he goes back on this challenge just because he forgot about uh, Balon not being able to stand since there is a king across the board. So it looks like Alex is getting Brienne into place here, debating uh, the defense. So yeah, Kevin does realize there, so he does pull back and uh, decide not to not to do that challenge. And that takes another few minutes. And I told Kevin I'd be uh, fast forwarding through that that slow moment. Uh, but between <laughs> the funny part I was harassing him about after was between the start of challenges and the choice of Maester Windermere coming in here on a power challenge was about 14 minutes, I believe. And uh, yeah, they have a few minutes left in the round at this point. So uh, yeah, we fast forwarded a bit there. And it looks like uh, Queen of Thorns is going to come in on the block and fully defend. But I know that feeling of seeing a giant board of characters, multiple rows, multiple strength buffs, and you just don't even know what to do. You just kind of get analysis paralysis. And that's what this uh, Tyrell Bitterbridge is uh, trying to do to you here. But the Greyjoy side of the board isn't too far off. <laughs> <laughs> and Alex bringing it up there, saying 20 minutes later, uh, one little challenge and doesn't go through. And I know Alex was getting a little, like he's, he's keeping in good spirits, but I could tell he kept checking his watch, was kind of a little frustrated that that much time had gone away since his deck's kind of a slow burn here as he gets all built up. And uh, he's finally in a place to kind of do some smashing and getting some power totals, but uh, not much time left in the round. And uh, 32, 32, we'll see. And you hear Alex getting a little thrown off here by the amount of power, uh, or amount of strength, sorry, that can be added into a challenge here. <laughs> and Alex is trying to speed things up, so he's just going to throw a bunch of characters down and see, see, see how Kevin reacts to it. So Randall's going to try to stand off the plot buff, but the Begging Brother's going to cancel it. 
13, 14, 15, 20, 22, uh, 26, 32, yes. So I think it's a 32 strength power challenge, I think is what's happening here. Maybe military, but I think it's power. 36. Or 36 strength, it sounds like. More strength buffs, even more. You can draw much cards. You have seven in hand? Uh, yes. This is why I, please, please, when you're sitting down at the table, you're looking at those cards, or you're on, on, uh, what am I trying to say, the, any of the deck building websites, uh, you know, don't be afraid, P put, put a reset in the deck, at least one, please, please, for my sake, I'm just joking, just keep the boards, keep the boards thin out there, guys. I need to start doing like a Bob Barker Price is Right, you know, make sure your pets are spayed neutered, you know, make sure make sure you don't leave home without a reset in your deck, kids. We know Kevin's got one. You play Greyjoy, he's gotta have at least Valor in there. Maybe a wildfire even in the in the range deck, but he doesn't want a wildfire with hitting himself too. I understand that one, but the Valor well he's got a couple saves on the board. Maybe he's got saves in hand, maybe he doesn't. But I think uh, Victorion's has his save ability right now. So looks like the power challenge was one with Trist just blocking insight off of uh, Renly. Which will be uh, How much did you win by though? <laughs> and he's got Intimidate off of King Renly's host, so he can pretty much kneel whoever he wants. It's gonna be Asha. Um, cool. Then I will do an intrigue of seven. An intrigue challenge of seven strength with uh, large marge. Getting that plus two buff buff off the plot. And yeah, that was a power challenge off uh, the first challenge there, not a military. So he's going to defend with the Reader, uh, Balon, and the Begging Brothers. Oh yeah, let's do the math here. So that's nine, twelve currently. All right, so I guess I don't really want you to trigger it, so I'll just do this here and here. So Renly's Pavilion hitting Marjorie and the Reader, doing a two-strength swing. And it looks like Kevin's going to go to the Reigns uh, plot deck here to decide if he wants to do some buffs on his side of things and try to get Reigns triggered. I think the Tyrell player is sitting on 8 power right now. And on the other side, we're also at eight, so it is a tie game right now. Interesting. And we do have an Iron Mines knelt there for Balon's ability to give a strength buff to the loyal characters there. And Reigns does trigger here on the defense. And power behind the throne to get a stand token there so we can undo that Intimidate, I'm sure. And Renown on Balon. And I think this may be the final round, actually. So they're just uh, counting out power there to see what may happen. They're going to finish out the round, I'm sure. <clears throat> but the Greyjoy player, Kevin, still has a bunch of stuff standing. Can hit back, but we'll see what the Tyrell player can do. So Iron Banks actually going to turn uh, the knight that does the sacrificing. Get some extra gold for dominance. 
Oh, yes. The Greyjoy player did go first, actually. He's not going to get to do any more challenges. So Dominus does go to the Greyjoy player. And you were at what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Yes. Or how are you? Yes. And I have at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So ten for the Greyjoy player, eight for the Tyrell player. And Alex is just going to concede, not continuing on. I think that hit time. Kevin slow playing it there till uh, he gets to the end. I think he realized what was happening. Or just was getting analysis paralysis. But either way, congrats on Kevin for winning the tournament. If you guys want to see more Game of Thrones, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button on these Game of Thrones videos to help other people find them. And we definitely have more Thrones coming up, like I said. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.